that say that. So nice to meet you, bro. Um, I'm good for my money. I'm not gonna scam you. All right, I can send half now if you want half after. Um, but I'll, I'm not gonna scam you, bro. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not a scammer. Yeah, most people who say that are scammers. Yeah, yeah, most people I think are bullshitters. Uh, most people pay me for my interview before I do the interview. So if you can't pay me before to do the interview, I don't want to do it because I ain't no scammer. Okay, fair game. I'll tell you what. Yeah, say, say, say Cheese TV paid me $7,500 for an interview, and he paid me before we do the interview. Everybody paid me before. My name too big not to do the interview. But I don't know if I'm not going to get paid after the end. That's true. That's true. Fair game. Fair game. Do you do any middlemen? You know what? Fuck it. I'll just send you the money. You know what? Yeah, man. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're right, bro. I'm going to just send you the money. Uh, Ned, I think you're trying to fuck me. No, I'm not trying to this, fuck you. I'm oh. Not. Well, well, other than that, because I've been, I, I, you know, a lot of people play a lot of games. I'm new to the industry. Well, I'm saying who tried, oh. to, who tried to fuck you? Uh, Nobody. I ain't gonna let him. Yeah, yeah, I'm a hard nosed motherfucker. <laughs> so we have to talk about some stuff. I'm gonna send the money right now. Let me make sure you get it before we start talking. But I, I, I have you know, Mr. White. Uh, can, can you smoke on here? Yeah, do you could say and do whatever you want. Oh shit, we finna go eight shit crazy tonight then. Well, yes and no, because there's some things that you say sometimes that really kind of like grind my gears. For example, Mr. White, I'm Jewish. I've never met a Jewish person day before in my life. Don't know what they look like. Well, you're looking at one. <laughs> you look like a white boy to me. Okay. But I'm saying I'm Jewish. They said that you've said something about Jews, you know. I said something about black people, niggas, Jews, white, Mexicans, AIDS, everything. Dogs, cats. I just said some horrible shit about everything. Fair enough, fair game then, okay? I mean, if you've dissed everybody, then it's fair game, I guess. So the first thing I wanna ask you is this, man. Hold on, let me just make sure this money gets sent through. Let me make sure, all right. Where are you at right now, by the way? I'm in Texas. Texas? Shout out to- Yeah, uh, Dallas, Dallas, Texas. All right, look, bro, look, look at the camera, look. $5,000 sent to you, 5,000, I give you 5,000, okay? Are you kidding? Did you just fucking run off my money? No, motherfucker. Oh, okay. I just, went, I just went, I just went and checked the cash app to make sure it came through. You still up? Yeah, I'm here. You see me? Uh, it got a funny looking little Jewish kid on there with a mask on. Where you go? What the oh, fuck? I, no, it says unstable internet connection. Is that me? Yeah. Why did you just call me a fuck? Can you see me? Yeah. Do you see me? I see you now. How many fingers am I holding up? Four. No, nah, three. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? All right. All right, all right, all right. Slow everything down a notch. Let's just take everything back a notch. The first thing I want to talk right. about is this. I didn't know this. I'm a good friend of Uzi, okay? Well, we haven't spoken in a while, but you know, it's a good friend of mine. I've had good memories with him. He's a good guy. You, you, you know, he put you on his album, Pink Tape. Do you know about that? Yeah, he paid me. What? I got a nice check from the record company. Huh? I got a nice check from the record company and I get a plaque. When that, when that motherfucker go plaque, I get one too. That's crazy. I'm on, a, I'm on the motherfucker, on the intro. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But you were dissing him, bro. Why'd you come at Uzi like that? I don't like rappers. Oh, you don't? Well, who's your favorite rapper then? Oh, uh, they dead. Tupac. Oh, yeah. R.I.P. Tupac. He's a goat, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tupac, my favorite rapper. So why don't you like rappers? Uh, most of them are fakes and frauds. Most of them aren't real leaders in their community. Most of them are pussies in their group. Gotcha. So, um, do you know? Do you know Young Boy? Yeah, I know of him. You you fuck with Young Boy? He makes pretty good music. Nah, I don't like him either. Why? Uh, he young and dumb. Fuck, I'm almost yeah, man. What 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 I'm gonna like about him? Of, of somebody called himself young boy. I'm a man. Oh, no words that a boy says appeals to my ears. Most boys are stupid to grown men. You know, how old are you, sir? I'm 46. So I'm 20, uh, I'm about to be 23, so you're almost double my age. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, man. you don't have a fully developed brain. Not yet, but in two years, technically I will. Yeah, technically. 
technically. And, and, and in two years, it'll be like a light switch came on. Wait, so you're telling me right now from in two years, my mind will be completely different? I promise you it will. What? It's going to be like somebody just snapped and like a fucking light. Came, I promise like a fucking light came on. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. Um, yeah. That's crazy. So I want to I talk about two things I saw that I didn't like. Okay. We're going to address the elephants in the room. The first thing I want to say is this, man. You know, what happened with these China, the Chinese community? You know, I got Chinese people watching right now. You know, um, I have a very good Chinese friend. I love China. I don't have none. Why don't you have any Chinese friends, Mr. White? Oh, uh, because I was born in the South and we don't make friends. Hold on a second. You would make friends with me. Oh, uh, probably to date one of your sisters. But other than that, no. All right. Stop. Stop. You would not date one of my sisters, first of all. They're not respectfully. No, fuck that. Disrespectfully, they're not fucking you. Okay, I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm going to be honest, bro. They're not fucking you, bro. I'm just being honest. I didn't say they would. You asked me a question. So bro, don't get bro, offended by I'm my not, You know what? You're right. Fair I enough. just said only way I would Fair. try to be friend to white boy if I like his sister or somebody. Other than that, we don't make friends with white boy where I'm from. So we you, sell them dope, rob them, or fuck over them. Or they fuck over us, fire us on the job, mistreat us, pull us over. It's already understood. But that has nothing to do with me. If a white cop pulls you over, I'm not pulling you over. You don't know me, bro. Don't assume all white people are going to pull you over. I haven't, I, I haven't never said anything about you. I'm just saying, bro, you don't. So look, let's just say you and I met and we became best friends when you were a child. Then what? My mother wouldn't let me be friends with a best friend with a white person. No, but my grandmother. You couldn't even came on the porch and play with her. Why not? Because huh? we didn't trust white people. We, didn't, we were raised not to trust white people. What did I, bro, what did I do though, bro? I didn't do shit. You haven't done nothing. You just painted a scenario, said that we were little boys. And I'm saying you haven't done nothing. You're white. You ain't got to do nothing. Your ancestors done something that we don't like. So we prefer not to make friends Listen. with you. Fair. Now, my kids, my kids don't have this same concept. But you're talking to a guy who was born in 1977. God first, damn. First generation of black children after the dream. Okay, fair enough. So, I mean, it's completely different generations of all There you go. There I mean, you I get go. it, but it's still ignorant to think that I'm- I, I, want, I, I want to be ignorant. I don't have any white friends, <laughs> except a white police officer. Why are you friends with him? Well, because he put a bunch of niggas in jail. <laughs> you just said that you're only friends with black people. I, I said, I don't mean I don't want to put him in jail. I got some friends I don't like. Wait, so you put your own friends in jail? I have if they committed a crime. Bro, wh what crimes have they committed for you to put them in jail? A uh, murder, a uh, drug dealing, robbery, a bunch of shit. So you snitch on your own friends? I have, yeah. For what? What do you gain out of that? Uh, because it's the right thing to do. If you do wrong, you do wrong. That's nobody, cool. no, nobody protects and condones wrong with bad people. I don't want to be hey, a bad person. I'm going to be honest though, bro. Not every human being is perfect, and you even know that. I'm sure you've, uh, you've, you've, we're, 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 you've committed we're, we're, illegal we're, activity. I know we're, you we're, have. We're, we're, we all hear have. Me out, hear me out. Hear me out. We're not talking about perfect. We're talking about committing crimes and being bad. But I'm saying, fair enough. But you've committed crimes for sure. Sure, I have, and I sure, and I went to jail for it. <laughs> oh, okay. Has there any, has there been any crimes you've committed that you have not gone to jail for? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so. So shouldn't you just be yourself reporting yourself and turning yourself in? I did. Good for you. What did you do? Yeah, I admitted it. What'd you do? A bunch of shit. Like what? A bunch of shit. Go ahead. A bunch of shit. Oh my God. All right, all right, all right. Well, what's the craziest snitch story that you've ever done? I called, I called CPS on finesse two times, the rapper. Why? Um, uh, just because I felt like it. You got to understand something, bro. You know, <laughs> you just can't be like, but that's just not, are you from the streets? No, never oh. been in, never. I was born in a suburban area, upper middle class, loving, nurturing home. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it's like to grow up in the hood, to be poor, to go to bed hungry. I don't know what that shit is like.
Oh, okay, okay. So then, I guess maybe you live differently for that. Then. I mean, you live a lot of more, a lot of differently. We prayed at every meal. Gotcha. I grew up in my own room. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, I made good grades in school. Me too. I, I did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I don't know nothing about the hood shit, money. I only learned that through rap music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tupac is great, bro. I love Tupac. He's, he's definitely one of the. You know, his poetry is crazy. It's amazing. You know, great actor. He was a he, he was a great poet, a great actor, great entertainer. Uh, he was more than just a rapper. That's true. He was a very, he's a, he was an icon, literally an icon. Yeah. Literally an icon. Well, look, man, you know, um, can, uh, yeah, do me a favor. You know what? Let's do this. I know you, you know, you got to adapt in this 2020, 2023 nonsense. I mean, it's not nonsense, but you got to adapt, man. Look, listen, Mr. Charleston White, I'm not telling you to forcefully like my kind, but I think you and I can really become good friends. But what's your kind? white people or jewish people you know i'm white and I, i'm jewish no what what do you not like about what why, why do i have why why do i have to have a jewish friend you don't have why? you don't have to i mean you you know i've 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 fared well in life with the friends that i like yeah why do i need to change why do i need to change and adapt you could always why be, you, i'm not hurting anybody i'm not out shooting up Jewish side and I'm not robbing Jewish stores. I don't even go in Jewish communities. I don't even know what Jewish people look like to bother one or not to make friends with one because they're Jewish. I look for my kind. And how do I identify my kind? By their actions. Can I, t can I ask you a question? Forget I said yes, Jewish white people. White people. Yeah. Do you like white people? Uh, for the most part, no. Why? White people don't like black people. That's not true. That's ignorant to think that. That, that, that is true. No, it's not. You don't. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from uh, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> and you want me to believe white people like black people. You lying to me and I done been all through Florida. You're talking to a 46-year-old man who's been born and raised in America, son. I understand. Racism is embedded. Prejudice is embedded. No, it's not. Ideologies. Ideologies. Are you fucking delusional? No, it's not. You. I'm enjoying life not having white friends. Okay. I'm, that's good you're enjoying life. Maybe one white friend can't hurt. Your perspective on life might change, sir. You're being ignorant. I, 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 I don't think I go to heaven. I don't think my ancestors would embrace me if I die if I with white friends. That's so ignorant. That's like saying I can't be friends. That's like saying I can't be friends with a German person. Like, what are you talking about? Because I'm Jewish, you know what Germans did, you know the Jew, the Germans did the Jews, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's like saying I can't be friends with a German. I wouldn't be. You're the part of the problem in this world, bro, because you're ignorant. I want to be. But I listen, know, but, but listen, but listen, but listen, my ignorance stays in my home. My ignorance doesn't you're bother outside. anybody. You're outside right now, bro. You're outside. No, no I'm not. I, I'm outside around a bunch of black people who think how I think. So you're telling me there's only black people right around your car right now? Yeah, only black people. Let me show you. A bunch of niggers. Bro. A bunch of motherfucking niggers around my car right now who don't want to make friends with white people. Do y'all want white friends? You see that? What the hell? No. Did... Bro, 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 it ain't got nothing to do with you. Okay, okay. We just, listen, just because I don't want to be a homosexual, that don't mean I don't bother. What you just, why you get mad? Hold on. It's just, Bro, you there's something wrong, bro. Cassie, have you ever been dropped before uh, on your head? Yeah, when I was when I was nine months old, I down the flight of stairs, my, my twin brothers were trying to carry me uh, to my mama, and the motherfucker dropped me, I'm busted sorry. back my head up right here. Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Um, you made me smart in the motherfucker since then. Eh. Wait, let me ask you a question. So, do you know about the Island Boys? You know who those people are? Island. <laughs> I don't know. Man. That's them two. Wait, what? Ain't that them the two bar that was on Jeffrey Epstein's island? I don't even know that. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. What the fuck? Wait, chat. Really? Hold the fuck up. On God. You think I'm bullshitting? I'm oh. not bullshitting you. What the? I'm fuck? telling you the God's son is true. Them boys had their shit was pushed in when they were little bitty boys. Wait, what? Boy, them celebrities were shoving that dick off and they've been the boy, they were a little bitty boy. Um, okay. 
Um, oh, what do you think about uh, transgenders? Love me and be honest. Your your brain. What is it thinking right now? Uh, you're a young, rich, stupid white kid that don't know nothing. Okay. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. It's just because you're young. You're young and dumb. So That's you, all. Most you know, young but, people. Are but you know I'm smart though, right? I know you're very fucking smart. I've done my research on you, buddy. Yeah, I know you're very fucking smart. Very intelligent. Thank you, bro. I got a lot of charisma. Oh, uh, you got a lot of fucking charisma. Uh, but you're bright eyed and bushy tail. You don't know the ugliness of the world. You think America. <laughs> you think the old days of America don't exist anymore. They don't. Uh, well, let me just say this. The 1964 civil rights legislation. Those people are still alive. What do you mean it don't exist anymore? No, no. You I think will say, so? I will oh, say. Hey, just hear me out. Most of our congressmen and politicians who are in power have been in power. <laughs> Look how old they are. You think those minds still don't exist? The CEO, the record. You, you, you think those minds and ideologies, they haven't died off yet. Now, when you guys get to my age, listen to me. He's known for killing people, he's not known for rapping. He's known for killing people. Not true. I, I knew Vaughn because he was a rapper and he was a good rapper, bro. No, no, yes. no, listen. Yes, bro. You know him for that. But the rest of the world know him for killing. The FBI just put out documentation that he's a serial killer because he killed so many people. Well, hold on a second. What do you guys know Vaughn for? Rapping? I know him for rapping. You know what I'm saying? I know him for rapping, man. And honestly, bro, you know, I fuck with Chicago music scene a lot, bro. I'm heavy into that shit, so... You know, uh, oh wow. What about, hold on, hold on, hold on. You fuck with it, but I watched the pain of it. Tuka's mother. See, I met Tuka's mother, and King Von kept talking about smoking on Tuka. That that woman is suffering from that. Why he make why he make mockery of her son's death. So I you'll say, all right, hold up, hold up. I can call Tuka's mother right now. No need. No need for that on here. No need. So 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 why you sympathize with the killers, I I empathize with the victims, families. So it's easy for me to say, fuck a killer. Yeah. Um, fair enough. Now, you know, I don't like to get inside on the side of things. You know, I, I, I'm not, listen, bro. I'm not, I'm not GDK or BDK. I think everybody, everybody matters. I love everybody, bro. So, you know. Well, let me just say this. Out of all of that, there are victims because these aren't grown men who was dying and killing. These was black children. Yeah. So it's easy for the Jewish boy to say, hey, I love it all. But there's a lot of pain and suffering I, for I, the thing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you're looking down. I'm looking up because I'm down here with the mothers who buried these sons. Yeah. FBG Ducks mother. Mo3 mother. I sit with these mothers. Don't be mother. YMW Melly's victim family. I talk to these victims. So it's easy for me to say fuck them niggas. She keep, Cause on, the family... she keep on blogging, ignoring my call. So yeah, so so it's easy for the Jewish white kid to say, hey, I'm not GDBD. I love it all. RP King Von. And every time you say RP King Von, there's nine victim families that hurt. That hurt. So Fuck King Von. Hey! Don't smile, bro. You can't just say that with a smile, bro. I say it with a smile because he was a demon. How can a Jewish boy love a demon? He professed and confessed as being a demon. And he had demon actions to prove it. Man, I just, you know, I love I love Von's music, bro. You can't do that with the Bar Mitzvah talk. Come on, Jew boy. You can't do that. What you you cannot love demons. I don't love demons. You say you love King Von? But can I be honest? All, all of this music. Hold up, hold up. The music you love promotes killing of black people. King Von didn't hey, make party stop songs. Stop calling me a Jew boy. He didn't make getting high songs. He made killing black boy songs. Yes, but look, that's very. Who's your Who's your favorite rapper? Tupac. He never made a song. Tupac is a great rapper. It's very hard to like. You he know. talks about. He talked about peace, yeah, 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 about peace and stuff. I know, I know about Pox music. Listen, man, I just think that there's perspectives on everything. Like, for example, I don't know what it's like to be a part of that life and that culture. So I'm not going to say here and tell you my take because you're right. It sounds stupid coming from the, the white Jewish boy in your words. I get it. I'm going to leave it alone. But what I will say is this. I'm a fan of rap music. 
Okay. And so I, am I. And I like certain rappers, and that's that. Let me ask you a so question. So am I. You fuck with Kanye? Yes, sir. You fuck with Kanye West? I love him. Why do you love Ye? <laughs> Uh, he's a genius. Don't call me Juba. Uh, For real. That shit's annoying. College dropout to billionaire. You got to respect accomplishments. Uh, yeah. Makes great music. Facts. Uh, has a great mind. Yep. Uh, really has a good heart. Uh, I think he's more misunderstood uh, than he is accurately judged. I, I just, I love you. I didn't like when, the, when he said Hitler was right. Oh. Uh, well, you like King Von. King okay. Von is a Hitler. You said perception, perspective. From our perspective, King Von is a Hitler. The terror that he reigned upon families. So, perspective. It's different. Perspective. How's it different? It's a perspective. Who was hurt by that besides feelings? Who was hurt by him saying that besides people's feelings? Nobody died. It's a perspective. So on the YNW Melly situation, do you feel for Melly at all? Not at all. But how do you know he did it, bro? Uh, Chad, did he do it? Who knows? We don't know until, uh, you know, he's not guilty until proven guilty. Right? You had me a question. I said, yeah. Well, my bad. Finish it. So what is your thoughts on the whole situation, the Melly situation? Uh, when I look at the evidence, he's guilty. When I look at the evidence presented, he's guilty. It's not circumstantial. Mr. He, just got some good, he just got some good lawyers. Mr. White, do you hate anybody? No, I don't hate nobody. You got to come from hate to hate. Uh, I come from a loving, nurturing mother who who believed her God had, loves white people too. So yeah, my mama don't hate nobody, so it's hard for me to hate anybody. Would you and me be good friends if we grew up together? Uh, Probably so. Yeah, I got a lot of good white friends from school that we still friends to this day. Okay. Um... Well, Shout out to Tegan Broadwater. Yeah, that's my good white friend, Tegan Broadwater. Okay. Yeah, and his wife, Holly, Miss Broadwater. Those are my good friends. They come to my mom's house and everything. They want to know, have you ever been to prison? If you have, what is your craziest story? Uh, never in my life been to prison. Uh, I went to the boys' home. I went to juvie. Oh. I, I'm a juvie. What happened to juvie? Anything crazy happened to juvie? Nah, we it was back in them days. Juvie was like the boarding school. There were boys and girls in there. We had off-campus passes. We had a football team, track team, basketball team. Sounded lit. Olympic. Yeah, yeah, it was, man. It was called Giddings. It was called Giddings State Home and School in Giddings, Texas. That sounded fire. Yeah, yeah. We had off-campus passes. We can go to college. We can work at the Sonic, the Pizza Hut, and the feed store in the community. Uh, we had a uh, indoor heated Olympic size swimming pool, weight room, game room, Sega. Uh, we had a kitchen to cook on the dorm. We go off campus to do Walmart shopping trips to go buy oven pizzas and chicken pop pie, all kind of shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, very crazy. Okay. Um, they want to know, man. How was your? How was it like growing up? Did you grow up with any siblings? You said you you mentioned your mother. Yeah, I got I, I got I got an older brother. Uh, my dad was in the Navy. Uh, oh, nice. my mom. My mom retired from General Motors. Uh, 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 my, my, I had an older brother. What about now? It's getting dark. Now I can see you. Hold on, let me cut my big light on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I like your grill in your mouth. Yeah, I've been having it for about 15 years. Let me see, my son, 19. He was about two or three when I got it put in. Is it? It's, is, a, it's, a, is it's it, a southern thing. Is it permanent? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just thank the girls who, who be wanting me to suck on their pussy and can see them diamonds sparkling while I'm down there sucking and eating I don't, on their pussy. I don't, I don't believe you've never eaten a pussy. You have eaten pussy before. One time. Oh, okay. How did that go? I, a white girl named Ginger. 
You, I was in the eighth grade. Yeah, I was in the eighth grade. He trying to eat some pussy, and it was tangy. Yeah, it was tangy when I ate it. So it's been. So I'm a little hesitant to eat pussy because I think it's tangy. I, I'm a more uh, barbecue, sweet and sour kind of guy than the tangy taste. That's disgusting. Yeah, you know the old nigga say she probably had a pissy pussy. That probably would piss on that pussy, boy. Ew! You ate a piss vagina? When, when you suck pussy, you eating all that. You don't know what's coming out that pussy when you eat that pussy. Bleed, pee, and do all kind of things. And come. You don't know what's coming out that pussy when you got your mouth on it. Have you ever got an STD before? Yeah, hell yeah. Ew! I think all, I think all good men have been burned a few times. Ew, you have a dirty penis, Charleston. So, all, all penises <laughs> is dirty from what I was told. Everybody penis dirty. Put it together. Wait, I thought all men had dirty penises. What STD do you have? Or have? have. Uh, I don't have nothing. But I done had chlamydia and gonorrhea in my 20s. Ew. Yeah, yeah. I done had chlamydia and gonorrhea in my 20s. That's a dirty dick you have, huh? Not in shower, of course. Uh, I think all men got dirty dicks. We don't well. We fuck. We we fuck, don't we? Yeah. Unless you want unless you're a weenie and you don't get to fuck. <laughs> don't call me a weenie. Come on. Yeah, now if you know, I, I think most jocks and, and honks and, and Hollywood kind of guys, we yeah, motherfucker reckless with that dick in his twenties. Boy, I've been fucking ever since I was eight years old. Oh, uh, that's a lie. You lying to me? We've been hunting, man. You lie, man. You ain't never. You ain't from the ghetto then. You ain't been around ghetto people. I have. Then you know motherfuckers from the ghetto fucking at an early age. Why? What you mean why? Why do you fuck? You don't li hey. you don't li you don't listen to our music? I All our music promoting sex. There's no way a kid can listen to our music and not want to fuck. There's no way a kid can watch these videos, these rap videos, and not want to fuck. There's no way a kid can play Grand Theft Auto. Go into the little strip club bar, get the lap dance, and not want to fuck. <laughs> your testosterone, your hormone, go get your dick hard. My so when you're unsupervised, so when you're around in an area where there's a bunch of unsupervised kids, why you think niggas can join gangs at 12 years old? Why? Why you think? Because they're unsupervised. Damn. So then what the fuck do we have to do then to fix that?